Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a long, long time uh, since I've done a video. Okay, so I just want to thank Blake, Isaac, and Ivan for sending me a little bit of that super thanks good stuff. Um, like I said, I'm going to be putting all that, whatever you, you guys uh, send me, it's going right back into the channel, right back into parts, stuff like that, so we can use me as the test bed so that you don't have to waste your money on stuff that doesn't work very well. So we're going to test stuff out. really haven't uh, bought anything yet, but I will. And uh, just want to say thanks a lot. But I really want to wrap up this uh, two degree of freedom seat mover. I really do. Um, so let's kind of recap a little bit about it. It's 24 volts. So it's a uh, plug in with these two 24 volt converters. Uh, in previous episodes, we built the control system with Arduino and the IBT twos and just some wires. Now what I'd like to do um, now is kind of run through just because I haven't had this thing running in, in maybe uh, since the last time you saw a video, so it could have been a couple months. So we built all this stuff in the previous episodes, um, and it does work. So I'm going to push it just a little bit. I got another camera here that's going to be recording the amps on uh, the maximum amps when the, this thing is moving around, and they're recording in DC. So these converters plug into the wall or they plug into a power strip that plugs into the wall so it's AC converting it to 24 volts DC and these amp readings um, are going to at least help us determine whether this setup is viable for most of y'all um, it's a little bit weird the way I got things set up I'm recording a little bit on my main uh, rig um, and I'm going to try to do a screen capture on this on the two degree of freedom seat mover so I can get this stuff started um, what I'd like to end up doing today get this rolled um, get some readings and drive it pretty hard that way we can see how good the readings are all right so let's get to it thanks for joining me now I'm in the rig like I said I got the monitor it's mounted fairly solidly this is the GT driving force wheel what we want to do is open up SMC3. I, just to say a couple things, just in case this is all blowing your mind. I've done a whole bunch of different videos on how to set all this stuff up. So, really, you can, if you if you look through some of my old videos or go to xsimulator.net, there is a whole bunch of guys that are building these things. A whole bunch have built them on my channel. And they do write back to me. But just if if you're just coming in the first time and you're seeing like all this stuff, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Just watch through it, but go back and look at the whole page. And uh, I promise it's not that bad. This is like this is so worth it that uh, that's the reason I'm doing this whole channel anyway. So all right back to my show and I want to make sure that everything is working good so I'm gonna to go to motor one and I'm gonna to go to a manual and I'm just gonna kind of move motor and see what happens all right so she seems to be working I'm gonna to go to motor two and take a look at how that thing is moving all right, so all that's working good. I'm gonna close down the SMC3. All right, so what we wanna do is um, close down SMC3, go to the SimTools game engine, and check our interface settings. Uh, we're on COM5 50,000, eight data bits, no parity, and one stop bit. Output bit range of 10, binary, and then remember to type in A axis 1A and B axis 2A, as I shown in the other video, or just whatever kind of write it down, and that's at 10 milliseconds. You want to create a preset. Um, I'm going to go 2022, 
and I'm going to say save, preset created. I'm going to load it up here, 2022, right there, and it's loaded. All right, so now what we're going to do is go to access assignments. Uh, I'm loading up, so previously we did the live for speed thing. I'm going to load that up. We have the pitch axis one, which is motor one, axis two is motor two, 30%. With the roll, right now we don't have any of the uh, switch boxes connected because they were kind of backwards. If you take a look at the old video, um, and we have surge, which is like acceleration. And it's kind of slow. And we have sway. What sway is um, is like when you're it's it's kind of like when you're going around a corner and the force is push, pushing you away. So anyway, we have these set up. Like I said, take a look at the old videos. I, I went in as detailed as I could on those. Now let's just go to game output testing and we're going to turn this on. And then we can just see if the seed is doing what it should. I do have those uh, amp uh, meters recording each motor. So we're going to do a little bit of roll action. We'll see what happens. Yep. And Sway is going to be you know, kind of the same thing. Um, and we'll do pitch. That's the road going down or backward or up, up a hill. And then surge, which is your accelerator. Now, right now, okay, so they all work. They still do from last time. We're going to try to jump into the game and we'll see what happens there. But before we get into the game, I want to ask you guys a question. So I've been kind of thinking about doing a question and answer type uh, live stream. I don't know crap about doing a live stream. I'm probably going to have to hire some millennial or somebody to help me out. I have a son and a daughter. Uh, but just let me know in the comments where you think it's a good idea or not, or whether you'd be able to you know, participate. If you got questions, I might be able to answer them like right on the spot. I'll kind of set up something like with a computer screen, kind of like over here and behind me or something like that. It'll be at my garage, um, and I don't know. I think after doing this for like three years, I know a little bit about it. I probably could uh, ease your guys' minds on some questions that you might have. Just let me know, all right? Um, like I said, the only reason I'm even doing a, a channel it's because this stuff is so freaking cool. And uh, all right, so back to the show. That way we can get um, a better idea of what's going on. Okay, so it says game on. And I don't know if I'm going to re be recording the screen or not. I just don't know. So that's why I've got this backup camera looking at it. The last time I tried to record the screen on this, this really old laptop, uh, it didn't record the screen. So I hope that the game starts and then we'll see what happens. Okay, we're in the game. I don't know if we're going to be able to hear the game audio because I have no idea if we will or not. Um, let's just go to training and or maybe practice. Can we go to practice? Single player, and let's just go. All right, so the wheel seems to be working. Can't really remember how, how to shift. Oh, okay. So take take a look at the at down there at the amp readings and let's just see how it's how it's going i think this is an automatic so all right i'm going to relax a little bit now i'm going to hit the brakes it's in first gear so i really have to worry too much about much here and when you're doing your race 
and you're doing your setup, you want to, you know, I mean, fine tune it to yourself. Like here, I'm just kind of driving around, I'm in second gear. And then when you want to move it to Seto Corsa, you know, put it on that game. Uh, that's a that's really good with this type of uh, uh, motion. Motion, you you can tell a lot. All right, so we're gonna go. We're in fourth gear. I'm not really sure we're we're going a hundred and some odd miles an hour. And all right, I'm gonna hit the brakes. Take a look at those amp readings and see what we're doing. And those those can be moved up. Now this, right now, this is, I mean, it's its okay. It's not where it needs to be. But right now, I just want to see what the amp readings are doing. So just keep an eye on those. And I don't want to make this a really long video. I want you to get in there and try it. Because obviously it's working. I haven't blown anything up yet. And, uh, you know, things seem to be Okay, fourth, third, second. It's a little bit hokey. So I, I would assume that if I put a little bit more power into the motors, they may, it may be a little bit more powerful. Uh, well, I mean, it's working. All right, so let me, I'm just going to try to concentrate a little bit and kind of think about how this is feeling. So, pretty good. Yep, that feels that feels normal. Okay, breaking, 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 breaking. Oh. That's normal for me to run off the track. All right, acceleration. That seems okay. Yep, going around that that turn. That's fine. Now, obviously, we don't have a ton of money into this. And these motors, probably, I mean, they're definitely not as powerful as the crab pot motors, but we, but we can at least get a get a reading on how many amps um, we're pulling. So I'm going down the main straight again, and it's nice and stable. You get a little bit of motion, you can feel that. Hit the brakes real hard. Second, I don't know how <laughs> what I'm. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they're pulling because I'm in a game and it's moving around a little bit. Maybe not the best. But you, you, what you want is the sensation of motion. Especially if you're in VR. You want to be able to feel like something's going on that relates to how you're driving. So I'm going to slow this down and we're going to uh, amp the settings up just a little bit. So Come back in a second. Approximately 10 hours later. Just kidding. Just kidding. It didn't take 10 minutes or whatever. It only took a few seconds. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to turn these up a little bit. The pitch and roll. So pitch is up a hill, down it. Actually, that seemed pretty good. So roll, I'm going to turn this up to, say, 50%. And this one to 50%. Surge, I'm also going to turn to 50%. And, and the purpose, and, and the purpose is to just see, see what the differences are in the amps uh, below. And we're going to save this profile live for speed. And before we do anything here in the Live for Speed profile, um, let's let's start up the game and let's just see what happens. Because I'm pretty sure we can move these things around a little bit and give us a little bit more action. So I'm gonna start up the game. All right, so here we are. The game actually started. Um, we got single player. And let's just go again. All right, so once again, look at the amp readings down there. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit better, more of a hit. 
three. You know, even that is worth it. This is not a super powerful car, but I'm getting some. I'm going to go down this, around this corner real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm getting the seats moving. The seat, seat was moving more than before. I could feel it. Um, but tell you what, let's stop. Let's see if I can do this on the fly. Alt, tab. Probably not. Okay, alt, tab. And we want right there. So I'm going to do, let's do surge. And I'm going to put, put surge up to 38%. And I'm going to put sway a little bit more. And we'll see what happens. I don't know. You should be able to do this on the fly. But I'm not sure on that. You have to ask those guys at X Simulator. Whoa. I didn't realize the thing is coming apart. All right, so I'm going to go Alt and Tab. Back to my game. Right there. Hopefully I'm going back to the game. Okay, back in the game. Oh, yeah. It's, okay, so this is... It's actually doing pretty good oh yeah oh yeah I think you're gonna like this now, I don't know what amps I'm pulling right now but you want to look maximum amps at like hard braking to full acceleration and you want to equip your rig with an emergency shutoff in case one of the motors goes crazy or something weird happens like the steering wheel pretty much just fell off for me so we're down to 100. Okay. And remember, you can adjust all these different, uh, the angle of the seat and things like that. So I think, you know, it's a good start. Yeah, I can feel this. Okay, let's go hard braking to hard acceleration. Look at the amps. Braking to acceleration. And, and we're also looking for overheating. Just weird, something weird that goes on. Now, I don't really know this track and I don't know this car, but it gives me confidence that I could bring this into a Seto and the seat's actually moving. It's doing what it's supposed to do. The rigs are still, you know, it's still a little shaky. But <laughs> one of my neighbors is like taking out a herd of deer or something. Good God. No, he's just practicing for the herd of deer. So the, the main thing, guys, is you want to just fine tune this stuff. Get it to a baseline that you understand and then fine tune it. Now, Live for speed, you know, it's an older game, it's free, and when it, you can download it, um, at least from, that's what I did, I downloaded it from, I may have had it before, but I'm not really sure, but from the xsimulator.net uh, forum, they'll give you a link when you're purchasing the software for uh, sim tools, uh, and Basically, they want you to test it so you're confident, and then you buy one of the other plugins for a game you that you might really like. Now, this one's okay, it's running on like the worst computer that I have. It has maybe four gigabits of RAM, like a very tiny spinning hard drive, and I can't hear anything, so probably no audio is coming out. Take a look at those amp I don't know. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, and even if I shift it manually, I mean, it's shifting, like, right then. So, that's the video, guys. Uh, but, but hold on a sec. Just one sec. Okay, right, guys, so it's working. It's still running. Uh, the 24-volt plug-in system does work. 
I think that all right guys so I do want to I don't need these headphones on <laughs> I do want to uh, kind of invite you over to the ACS that's a set of course of friends and we race on Saturdays we race on uh, Thursdays possibly Tuesdays. There's a whole bunch of stuff that my friends um, Jorg and Hippie have put up. And, you know, some of the races are really competitive. And some, like the Gentleman's League, which that's what I race. I only race it on Saturdays because that's the only time I have. Um, it's not as competitive. There's maybe like 20 people in a race. And, like, if you run somebody off the track, well, you kind of got to just do the gentleman thing and, like, slow down, wait for them to get back on the track. But the other races, yeah, they're competitive. So if you like that kind of stuff, and, and look, I've never done online racing before. And um, I've heard all sorts of horror stories about it. I'm... Just an old dude, and I'm just having a freaking great time in my VR motion rig, and so can you. You can do the same thing. Have a good time. I've invited a lot of people that I've met on my channel over to there, and some are really, really fast. Some are just normal, like me. I'm slow. I'm about 10th place, so... You're going to be passing me by. But, hey, here's the link. Here's the channel. And uh, come on. Have some fun. Might as well. You only live once, right? Or twice. Whatever. Or whatever you think. All right. Back. Um, but I've been racing this thing for three years. So this is kind of all new for me. It does seem to work. It moves the seat. Like the wiper motors, they didn't really move the seat. Not convincingly. This does convincingly, especially when we turned it up a little bit. So you may want to just, just play around with the settings. You know that now, now you know that the 12 volt crab pop motors off a 12 volt battery, that works fine. Now you know that an in, a 24 volt, 25 amp inverter and two of these wheelchair motors at 24 volts I don't know what the amps are going to be so I'm going to take a look at the video just to see what we're pulling I don't think they're pulling all that much certainly not like um, when I did the brake test but it does work and I'm pretty happy about it but guys I do want to move on to another project um, I set this one aside for a little while and then when I come back to it I'm going to start, start moving the motors I may move them in the front, but I'm not sure. Now, I want to show you something. It should be pretty cool. Don't know if it's going to work. It probably will work. And here's three. One, two, and three. Three of these freaking crab pot motors. That's to say I'm serious. So we're going to do that next. After that, we're going to give it a go at a six degree of freedom fully suspended rig i don't know if that's going to work but i'm willing to, to try it during the winter and uh since i know all these concepts work i just want to say guys trust the paperwork trust that this stuff works watch the videos <coughs> excuse me all this stuff does work it works just fine the 24 volt one, yeah, you're gonna have to do a little bit of work, but um, yeah, you can plug it right in, just the way it is, which I could bring it inside if I wanted to, just the way it is, and just kind of fine tune it. I basically spent not much time tuning at all, but that's okay, because that's up to you guys. I'm just showing you that you can do this stuff, and it doesn't cost a whole lot of money, and you can get decent results. But, uh, what do you think about the new design? Um, it's going to be 12 volts, and I think I'm going to try to run it instead of off a uh, truck battery. I think I'm going to try to run it off of um, server power supplies. I'm going to look into it. 
I think it'll work. And that way we'll be able to plug it right in the wall. And those power supplies are AC to DC, just like that 24 volt thing. But difference here, these motors are 50 to one. So the motor's gonna go around 50 times before the crank goes around once. You're not gonna make the crank go around once. You're gonna make it go around maybe 160 degrees, maybe 180 if everything is perfectly set, but most likely it's gonna be in between that. So there, it's not moving much. So the more windings, more times the motor turns, the better. Like these ones here, they run around 18 times before the whole thing goes around once. So it's, you're not gonna get a smooth motion off of those wheelchair motors as these. And in Australia, they sell the motion dynamics. They're 60 to one. They're a little bit bigger and they're, I mean, if I could afford to spend 300 bucks a motor, I would. But these ones, I found out that they, on. Um, in Canada, and I, I link it up, link it in the description where you can order them from. The price went up about 20 bucks since COVID, so about 120 bucks plus shipping. I think I was into them for 140 maybe each, and before they were 120, so the price went up 20 bucks, just what it is. All right, guys, till next time, stay up.